Welcome to Kettering University's Acoustics Laboratory. My name is Dan Ludwigson, and this is a short clip about Helmholtz resonators. I've brought two acoustic resonators from my collection. These are both 750 milliliter bottles. They have different geometries, and so therefore, they have different frequencies at which they resonate, or resonance frequencies. So here we have a, a short neck and a long cavity. Uh, this one has a, a more squat sort of cavity and a longer neck, and that turns out to be critically important in the frequency at which these resonate. Now the resonance frequency also determines how the jet of air, that if we blow across the top, how that jet of air oscillates up and down and kind of drives the system. So I'll demonstrate that here with both of these. You've probably seen this or done this yourself many times. A fairly low tone, higher frequency with the shorter neck. Now, t thinking about the neck, the length of the neck is important, as we've seen, but it's in the model that we use, we'd like to add little correction factors to adjust, adjust or account for the fact that the plug of air in the neck has, has to push out against the mass of the air outside the bottle. So we add about a, a 0.6 of a radius of the opening, add 0.6 of that radius at the free end without the, without the flange. This is a rather thin lip here at the top. And then we add another uh, correction factor at the other end. Because of the shoulders here, that acts as sort of a flange, and perhaps a better model for that would be 0.8 of the radius. So add those two correction factors in, and you get an effective length of this neck. Applications for the Helmholtz resonator are numerous. We, we use them in both filtering out unwanted noise, but also, often in musical acoustics, we use them to amplify certain aspects of the spectrum of the instrument that we'd like to emphasize. Now, I brought here a, a demo built by one of our students some time ago. Uh, Matt created this duct two meters long. It's driven by a speaker at one end, and in the middle there's a Helmholtz resonator with a, a, a short neck with a cavity on top. The cavity has an adjustable volume so that by pushing the, this plunger in, I can decrease the depth of the cavity and change its resonance frequency. I'll play one single tone through this duct at 585 hertz, and you'll be able to hear, when it gets quiet, how that Helmholtz resonator is coming in to, to be tuned at 585 hertz. Then if I continue to push uh, the, the plunger down, it will go out of tune and then become loud again. So that's our test tone at 585 hertz. I'll begin to tune the resonator, you'll hear the effect. That's Helmholtz Resonators, Kettering University's Acoustics Lab. Thanks.